Hey, gentlemen, exclamation point. Do you think we'll see FSR 4 in PC handhelds anytime soon? Cheers. Uh, well, that's an interesting question because I think our first visibility on anything called FSR 4 was a comment from an AMD exec, uh, exec saying that they wanted to see it in PC handhelds um, and that it was seen as a pretty crucial part of the strategy. Um, Oliver, what do you make of this? I guess uh, fundamentally they're going to need to make an APU that has an RDNA 4 GPU. That's exactly my thought. Um, they'll presumably need RDNA 4, and even if they do make a variant of FSR 4 that could run on RDNA 3 or 3.5, as is like if you look at Strix Halo, that's RDNA 3.5, right? Yeah. Um, then I guess one question would be, is performance good enough, <laughs> right? If they make like an FP16 version of FSR 4, would that be performant enough in that class of hardware? That's really an open question, and I suspect the answer to that would be not really. So right. they would have to introduce a new, some new handheld APU that does take advantage of RDNA 4 here, I feel. Um, aside from that, I mean, even if they did get it running, would it be preferable to FSR 3 or FSR 2? It, it might be kind of an academic implementation, if not, right, in that case. So I'd be curious mm. to see how that would work out, but that would be my suspicion personally, that it, it would either not be performant enough or just wouldn't work at all. Right, or we need an FS, uh, an RDNA for handheld, basically, mm -hmm. um, yes. which is some way off in the future, I would say. But I think that's probably the end game. And I think there is a, a good role for FSR 4 to play. Because uh, right now, you know, there is the sense that, um, you know, you need upscaling on a lot of these handheld games. And uh, you've just, you're just working on a, another too big for Steam Deck. Uh, PCI, <laughs> I not Oliver. Yeah. And um, so upscaling is proving to be quite important for those uh, challenging games on handhelds. And it is interesting that a lot of the time it's like, okay, well, FSR isn't really particularly great. I'm going to try XESS on there instead with, with mm -hmm. improved results. So the concept of actually having an AMD solution that does have a proper machine learning component Going to be interested to see it, but I think you're right. There's the concept of uh, whether FSR 4 can be backported to RDNA 3 and 3.5 and the extent to which it could be effective. Um, we still don't really know whether FSR 4 will be backported. I think there's been some um, rumblings about it, but possibly for the desktop side. Um, do you have any skin in the game on this one, John? Does this particularly excite you? Uh, I I mean, I'm always excited in the future of handheld PCs and anxiously awaiting whatever Valve does next at some point because I feel like they've built up the Steam Deck as its own platform enough that we will at some point see a Steam Deck 2. <laughs> and, yep. I mean, given the lifespan of the current Steam Deck, I could see them have been working with AMD to implement RDNA 4 into some sort of like suitable handheld system at some point in the future. That, I mean, that makes yeah. sense, right? Yeah. Uh, in addition to, I mean, I would see, I would like to see optionally at least, you know, 120 Hertz screens on these things on, on the next steam deck with, uh, you know, you could leverage frame generation, which makes a lot of sense for a device like this. <clears throat> so I don't know. We'll see. I mean, but of course it's just image quality issues are a lot less bothersome on a small screen to begin with. But, you know, with the steam deck, we've discovered that sometimes you have to scale the resolution so low that it actually does start to make a difference. Right. So yeah. I'm curious what this would mean for the next generation. Uh, but yeah, we'll obviously be watching out for it. 